And then when we left the Trukana and went to Burundi, found Bishop Juma Ferisi and, and his family and GOA there doing a great job. And they have been learning this school uh, for many years. Let's see. Yes. So, During the day, we use each other playing fields for children. Yes. So when they when they play here, okay. And on Sunday, on Sunday. Yes. On Sunday we put chairs. Yes. And the school is doing very well with 84 children because they, they have the opportunity to grow the school but the space in the, in the church is so full because the classrooms are inside the church. And the vision has been to grow this school and make it a full school. But while they have been doing the best they can to educate the children within the school because that is the only resource that they have, the government has told them you have until June 2023 to either move the children from here to a spacious place or you or we close it down. Now when I look at a situation like that and I ask myself what is the fate of all these children and what is the fate of Bishop Farisian's vision for sustainability of his nation by providing education and fighting illiteracy. You know, all that he needs is 30,000 US dollars, 3 million Kenya shillings, to be able to move the school from the church and be able to grow it into a full school. We are facing this obstacle, but I thank God, God is able. We were able to pray yesterday, we were able to pray, every person stood up and prayed, asking God to bless us with money so that we can buy another plot for our school. Now, this challenge requires 30,000 US dollar to be able to move the school from church compound to another place. Please, whoever hears me speaking, I want you to stand with us. Time with the church, Glory Outreach Assembly Church in Burundi, we are facing this great challenge. We want God to open doors and be able to move the school. May God bless you as you stand with us. God bless you. Amen. Isn't that a great opportunity for someone, for a church somewhere, for a family, who would say we want to make a difference in the future of Burundi by investing into those children?